The extensive list of failed Pentagon projects has been supplemented by another program, just cancelled by the US Congress, to create a strategic long-range gun SLRC, with a fantastic firing range for artillery of 1850 kilometers. American lawmakers removed the program from the military budget for the current year. As the press service of the US Army reported, even if the efforts of the developers are crowned with success, the mass production of new ultra-long-range guns and the formation of the corresponding units will cost the budget billions of dollars. Subscribe to the channel, it will be more interesting. Thank you in advance. Initially, the US Army Command planned to use the SLRC to gain dominance in the Indo-Pacific region in the confrontation with China. For example, by placing them in the Philippines, it would be possible to fire at Shanghai, and from Japan at Beijing. The declared firing range, 1850 kilometers, is many times greater than the capabilities of the artillery systems currently in service with the US Army. For example, the M109A7 Paladin self-propelled howitzer fires at only 29 kilometers. It was assumed that in order to achieve record shooting rates, the SLRC would use an electromagnetic launch, that is, it was a type of railgun capable of firing projectiles at a hypersonic speed of Mach 5, or about 6,000 km per hour. The fate of the very first railgun is well known, the ambitious multi-billion dollar Pentagon project has long been closed. According to experts, the HIMARS and M270 tactical missile systems and rocket artillery systems in service can cope with the tasks assigned to the SLRC. It is now obvious that the SLRC project was beyond the capabilities of the developers, and in the context of tightening military spending savings, it will definitely not be implemented in the foreseeable future. Don't forget to subscribe and like.